Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life Apothecary, Professional Astrologer, Tarot, and Intuitive Reader. It feels so good to have you guys with me. Once again, we are back. So I'm not gonna lie to you, obviously we are outside because this is the new vibe lately. This is my vibe. However, my birds are singing today and also we have Tornado Watch hashtag like or slash tornado warning and a hurricane slash tropical storm will be sweeping through in just a few hours. I'm saying all this to say that the energy is a little unpredictable right now, but I'm here for it. This breeze is fantastic. We have the cards, we have the chart, and we're just going to work with it. We're going to vibe with it. All right. So first and foremost, you guys, I want to let, I want to know how you are feeling right now. What's going on? And the reason why I want to check in with you is because this uh, Mars square Uranus that's happening within the charts right now can be really, really difficult and tumultuous to work with, to deal with. And as I'm saying that, the uh, Mercury square Neptune aspect that's happening right now is also on my radar. And I can see is creating a lot of blips. A lot of wonkiness, a lot of wobble, a lot of wobble, wobble, and shaking in our personal lives. So, if you can, you guys, let me know down in the comments what your sun sun sign is and your rising sign. Those are the things that I'm going to need in order to do my research as an astrologer, as an intuitive. Okay. Um, so, first things first. One thing that's really standing out to me this week is the fact that Venus will be directly opposite, opposing uh, Saturn retrograde currently sitting in the sign of Aquarius. Now, what happens with this and what I can already see and what I can already tell, not only just looking at this aspect, but all of the aspects as a whole, you guys know I don't look at just one transit. I'm interpreting the entire chart, the entire energy of what the chart is creating and the energy that we're gonna be feeling in our personal lives. So what I can see is this huge push, pull and shove into this idea of independence and being self-serving and looking out for yourself. And if you are not comfortable with this, if you are not adjusting to this, this can feel like you're being ripped away from your comfort zones, you're being ripped away from yourself, your self-identity, your self-worth, all those things can be triggered. Aspects of things that you thought were left in the past from childhood or past relationships or past circumstances can show up. Um, if you are not flexible in working with this, right? Why is this? Well, because Mars represents our drive, our ambition, and how we pursue things sitting in the sign of Leo. Leo represents our ego, our, our identity, our sense of self, and our freedom of expression, right? And our self-worth. Then we have Venus, who is also moving to the sign of Leo. She represents what we are attracted to and what we attract, okay? So um, these planets, these two planets, these personal planets are directly opposing Saturn. Saturn rules, I'm sorry you guys, my birds are singing right now, so hopefully it's not too loud. But should I give them a moment? We'll see, okay. Saturn rules our restriction, our commitments, and things that confine and contain us. It also is there to make us more responsible, make us more mature, and essentially level up. Now that Saturn is retrograde in the sign of Aquarius, we are told by the planets to revisit areas of our lives that need a bit more attention um, to restore them into a space that allows us to be more solid, more stable, and have more structure in our lives because this is the new foundation that we are building it upon. With the with Saturn sitting in the sign of Aquarius, Aquarius says, this is not how we have always done things. This is not the way that we've always done things. This is where our future is leading us towards. This is where we are being guided to for a higher purpose, for a higher destiny that might be so totally different, erratically different, drastically different from our normal circumstances or our past circumstances. And that can be really tough if you are trying to implant yourself and embed yourself in outdated ways, outdated relationships or aspects of the mind or the self that are, have been trying and striving towards growth so that you can actually thrive and stop striving. Does that make sense? 
So if you are stuck in these antiquated ways of thinking and doing um, life or your relationships or your work, you're gonna really feel like you're getting run over by these, by these planets. Because the planets, as beautiful as they are, they don't really take into consideration our feelings. They take into what is for your highest and greatest good, not only your highest and greatest good, but all of our highest and greatest good. And the whole planet as a whole is undergoing, is in the, mid, in the midst of major transformation right now as we speak. This is not for, um, this is not meant to be comfortable. It's meant to test our boundaries. It's meant to test our comfort zones because we are really letting go of old ways, old habits, right? If you start to internalize these things and if you take these external circumstances and, and internalize them and, and say, oh, I did something wrong or you're not practicing forgiveness or you're not practicing compassion or you're locked in still trying to control the outcome and control the circumstances and you're not taking the, the time out self-care to hyper focus on what spirit it, where spirit is leading you where you're being inspired those steps that you're being inspired to take now you are absolutely going to feel lost you are absolutely going to feel defeated you're going to absolutely feel frustrated and these are transits my loves that are very very heavy the weight of them and the magnitude of them is so great that you should not be carrying all of this weight and burden on your shoulders, on your heart, in your spirit alone. This is why I've been telling you guys with Chiron moving to the sign of Aries right now, Chiron squaring off with the sun, sun moving through the sign of uh, Cancer, Chiron sextile um, Saturn here. This, I've been telling you guys to really be selfish with your time, be selfish with um, speaking up for yourself, be selfish in the pursuit of your desires, have, have confidence as best as you can and if you don't have it, work to set intentions so that you do have it. Self-confidence, self-knowledge, self-awareness, self-growth, self-mastery. You don't have to master it all overnight, but at least set the intention that you're, pursue, that you're pursuing it and that it's coming towards you and that you are coming towards it, right? Aries focuses on the self. It says, I am, this is who I am. I'm defining myself. Moving forward, this is who I am. Even in a second ago, you are not the same person because you are actively choosing every single moment, every single second, every single minute, who you will be and you can change that. You can change that outcome. So with these planets, as their weight comes crushing in, you know, and as they kind of force you to, to surrender and to, and to open up to these new opportunities that are showing up in your life and, and new relationships and old, you know, saying goodbye to these old ways, you are being actively transformed into your highest, greatest self. Believe me, trust me on that. As I'm saying that, you guys, I one of the first few cards that jumped out is the star card. This is actually ruled by Aquarius and it connects us to healing. It connects us to higher purpose. It connects us to the, the, the reminder that there's always a new day. There's always hope. There's always faith. And faith is meant to be illuminating in your life right now. We don't want to have faith in our current circumstances and our current situation and our current, you know, environment because all of that is an illusion. It's how you are perceiving it right then in that moment, whether it's good or bad. We want to have faith that in a higher power and a higher source and, and higher love and higher energy because that's actually what is real. When you tap into that, you guys, it is unlimited, like it's limitless what can happen. It's limitless the blessings, the abundance, the growth that can manifest and materialize in your life. That is what is actually real. Even as I'm sitting here and I'm watching that butterfly fly right by my window and I'm listening to the birds chirp in the background and there's a storm that's brewing in the horizon and you know, a, a hurricane or a tropical storm, I don't know where we're at right now, but all of that, you know, it's, it's my perception. It's my way of looking at life, you know? It's my way of absorbing and observing the present moment. And in that, I choose to be grateful. I choose to notice the abundance. I choose to notice the health. I choose to notice the vibrancy in this moment. And my life becomes magical because I actively chose it to be. Does that make sense? However, if you are, star card, back again. If you are, if you are not, if you are refusing to accept that truth, if you are refusing to accept that reality, this Mars, 
Venus opposing Saturn aspect and then Mercury squaring Neptune aspect is going to muck up your mind and muck up your brain to the point where you are gonna look at the circumstances around you and, and choose to define them in a way that is limit, limiting and reflects a shadow, shadow belief, re re reflects a trauma, reflects something that will hold you back and hinder you and you will then create that reality. You will then create that normal. That's not what you want. That's not what you want. In fact, you guys, the next cards that I pulled for us are the Fool card and also the High Priestess. This is understanding that we are actively co-creating with the universe and with our higher self all the time. All the time. We are able to manifest, we are able to materialize when we speak out to the universe and call out to the universe our hopes, our wishes, our, our true desires because that's what spirit wants for us. And with that, if we are actively choosing that, we have to decide to let go of the past and to hyper-focus on our happiness, our health, and our healing right now in this present moment. Because that will then materialize, that will then magnify, that will then magnetize, that will then be brilliant. What I want you guys to recognize with the star card is that sometimes what you see in this present moment is gonna be darkness. In that darkness, my loves, especially with the High Priestess here energy, I'm surprised that I don't see the Hermit card here, but I think it's because a lot of us are out mixing and mingling and networking like I've been telling you guys to do. Um, with that, you know, with the, with the darkness, you are invited. You are invited to sit, observe, and to be inspired, intuitively inspired by the divine spirit and path for your life. The Knight of Pentacles just jump, jumped out. Knight of Pentacles reversed, however. What this is telling me, and what this is telling me to tell you guys, is to have patience. The thing that I'm hearing with that is, when you hear spirit, and when you hear the universe asking you to have patience with it, it's not saying that you are going to have to wait, or that there's gonna be a delay. Some of you guys, that's the first thing that you hear when you hear, have patience. When, when spirit is telling you to have patience, what they're actually telling you to do is to be present in this very moment and acknowledge and observe all of the blessings here presently right now. I don't know why, but I'm just like seeing someone just eating a bowl of ramen noodles <laughs> and just being like, you know, they don't even see the blessing in that. Like you're, you're, you're consuming something, your body's getting some level of nourishment, right? Or there's comfort there. There's comfort food there. There's, where are you sitting? You're sitting with a blanket. You're sitting by yourself. You know, embrace the loneliness and not the loneliness, but embrace the ability to be alone and to enjoy your own company. Or if you're with people, embrace the companionship, embrace the partnership, embrace the people that are around you and the unique, interesting energy that they bring into your lives, whether it's challenging or whether it's constructive. Because either way that you look at it, Three of Wands, Three of Wands is the card of looking out and observing, but it's also about harmonizing and connecting with the energies that are around you. You're then, you're then choosing to collaborate with them. You're then choosing to align with it. Now with the Hierophant card, this is going to reverse, this is going to test how you perceive things and how you've learned to see things. So that you can then Break away from your average experience, your average Joe life, your average basic monotonous day-to-day, -day, whatever that looks like for you, and step into something that is higher. Step into at least an awareness that teaches you and shifts you into something that is so abundant, so beautiful. Something that each of us can access, something that each of us can dive into. That's the other thing too, you guys. A lot of this, I keep talking about the mind, I keep talking about our perception, I keep talking about intention and and the vibes of, of things because all of this is really in the head and all of it is with the feeling and when you're able to master those things, then you step into a new form of energy and life that we're, it's not even about attracting anymore. It's not about even setting intention. It's about this present moment, transforming this present moment so that you can see it for what it actually is, the biggest blessing, the biggest, the biggest blessing. And in that, you guys, I just heard you break curses. 
in that you will actually break free from curses things that were written over your life spells or or obstacles or our beliefs that are have been generationally programmed in your brain you're breaking free from that that is what you are going to be harmonizing with some of you guys are looking especially with the three of wands some of you guys look for these external feelings of confirmation but honestly if you just sat with yourself if you just sat with the high priestess if you just sat with your higher self if you sat with your inner magician if you sat with your you know the, the the this inner sage that's within you this wise inner sage within you you would hear it you would hear it you would see it and you would never believe anything otherwise you know you would be so completely aligned with your path it's not these external things once i see this then i'll know no when you feel it you will know what is true what is right for you for your life and what is manifesting or what has already manifested or what you are embodying or who you are okay it all comes here it all comes here. It's in your mind, it's in your third eye, it's what you are, are aware of. It's what you perceive, it's what you accept, it's what you're choosing to believe every single day. And this choose this you this decision that you make every day, this choice that you are going to make every day, let it come from a space of high, high love, high, high energy, the divine's energy. Right? Let it come from that. Because when you t tap into that and when you are downloading from that, when you are accessing source, you guys, you're going to have such a strong sense in your spirit that says without a doubt, without a fraction of a doubt, it's going to speak so clear to your spirit and says, this is what is for me. This is what is not for me. And with that, nothing can ever form against you. Nothing can ever defeat you. Nothing can ever steal your abundance or take out of your mouth or take from your heart. None of, none, none, none of that could happen. With the seven of wands, you guys, sometimes this is a card of stress and the things that we are fighting to believe, the things that we are fighting to accept, the things that we are fighting for. And Spirit is saying, with Five of Pentacles here reversed and also the way that these planets are looking and the way that Spirit is speaking to me now, you don't need to fight with anyone for anything. You don't need to fight to prove to prove anything to anyone. You don't even need to fight to prove it to yourself. I just heard the word mastery. All you need to reconnect with, because I'm not even gonna say all you guys need to learn to do, it's you already know how to do it. When you were born into this world, when you're born into this planet, you knew, you knew how to do this. All you, when you reconnect back into source, at your sacred space, at your altar, at your meditative state, full card here, when, and the high priestess, and the star card, when you guys go back to that, you're gonna sit with spirit, you're gonna consult with spirit, you're gonna hear spirit, and you are going to be reaffirmed and be spoken to. One thing that I want you guys to see real quick is masculine energy and feminine energy in the form of cups, so emotions, water. Water totally transforms. That's something that's coming through right now. Water totally transforms based upon the elements or based upon the energies around, right? So if water, which is water, you guys, it's unchanging, it's H2O. There's certain things that make water what it is. And if anything takes away from that or adds to that, it's no longer water, right? But water being water, it changes and it transforms based upon the energies around it. So if the heat is too hot, <laughs> or if the heat is hot enough, that water is going to evaporate or it's, you know, it's going to lift up from its once form and then shift forms based upon its circumstances, based upon the environment, the energy around it. Then let's say there's the right circumstances, right? Those, those circumstances, they start to change, they start to shift, and then that evaporated water starts to condense, it starts to find itself it starts to connect, it starts to, 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 to form again, and that is condensation. When that condensation becomes, becomes heavy enough because the energies support that, it then drops down as precipitation, as rain, right? So then when that rain starts to form, it starts to connect, it starts to build, and then we have a river, we have a lake, and then the heat starts to come again, and then with that, that, that that same body of water then starts to break apart, lift up, evaporate back into the clouds. So now we have a cloud form. My, my, what I'm saying here, my loves, star card, high priestess, 
the Fool card and the Hierophant reversed, you are being guided and called into these different transforming, you know, moments of your life, seasons of your life where you are not meant to stay put. You're meant to transform, you're meant to transition. And in that, who you are, the purity of you, the essence of you does not change even though your form or your circumstances may change. This means that the beauty of you, the blessing within you, the blessing that is looking for you, the blessing that is a part of you, the blessing that is within you, it doesn't change just because your circumstances, your environment may have changed or it might have shifted or you yourself may have shifted because you are still that same state. You are still that same being of love and light and abundance. And you have nothing to worry about if you sit with that, if you embrace that. And if you have nothing to worry about, then you have nothing to stress for and fight for because all of what you are, all of what you are looking for will be and is being provided. This comes in the form of energy. It comes in the form of abundance. You don't have to fight secure. In fact, it's best if you are generous. It's best if you are forgiving. It's best if you are inspired. And in order for you to be inspired, you have to release, you have to let go through forgiveness, through bonds, through things that you might have connected yourself towards or embedded yourself within. When, when spirit tells you to have patience, it's not that there's a delay, it's the fact that be in this moment right now, transforming, transitioning with wherever you are at and realize the, the purity and the blessing in that and the abundance that is within that. Don't look for external things, look internal because all of the answers and all the solutions and everything that you need to hear, feel, experience, receive, do is right here within. I want to invite you guys to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure that you are tuning in, you got your notifications on because we need to talk about this Cancer New Moon. It's going to be transformative. It's going to be a blessing. Okay, it's going to be on the 9th. Yep, Page of Swords. There's a truth and a message that needs to be revealed and we are going to talk about it. Yes, Hanged Man, Eight of Swords, Queen of Wands, Reverse, Two of Pentacles. Something is being dropped here. Something is being hung up here something is being called calling you into a space of surrender but i'm seeing a total total shift here you guys total total shift with this eclipse i'm sorry with this with this new moon so make sure that you're subscribed check down in the comments too and in the in the description box for all of the dates that you're going to need astrologically for this week ahead okay because i will provide i'll see you in my next video bye